So Marie is going to talk about um, energy vampires, how to understand them, and how they are a past life issue. Okay, now I know this sounds very strange, but an energy vampire, they don't get manifested for no reason. Be a particular reason why a certain person likes your energy and they like to eat off your energy field, okay? You know that you're a multidimensional being, okay? Now, as a multidimensional being, you will get other types of energies manifested on you, depending on, well, the situations you've had with people, but it's mostly people like to create bad situations with us, okay? So think of these energy vampires as people from your past life looking well, and, you know, looking to take something from you in this life. All right, you heard me. They are looking to take. Understand. That's why these people are very dangerous. But they likely did something to you in a past life. And so in this life, they are using their astral self to take from you energetically. See, while they pull that energy away from you, your, your own energy... They can find a way to plot behind your back and screw you over again. The vampires are very tricky. They will take from you. They will. Not even just your energy, but emotionally and find ways to fuck you over. So, understand that's why you have an energy vampire in your life is because that is a person that you have a soul contract with. Imagine the energy vampire is, you know, it's just a person coming back to haunt you. And since they cannot, you know, they do not remember, they'll work their way, though. They'll, they'll work their way to try to physically betray you. As I said in the last video, make sure you guys are having boundaries with these people. If you're feeling, if you're feeling tired around this person, you're feeling drained. Is because since they can't take from you physically or something from you yet, since they can't take something from you yet, they're trying to take your energy in the meantime. 